What's up and welcome besties to a new Lost Caverns of Ixalan standard video. So today I felt inspired to buff up one of my favorite decks of all time, Zombies. And while the Lost Caverns of Ixalan didn't provide us with any zombies to add, it did add the perfect typo deck card, Roaming Throne. Now Roaming Throne is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four creature with War 2 that enters the battlefield as whatever creature type you choose and will be that type in addition to its other types. It then also reads, if a triggered ability of another target creature you control of the chosen type triggers, it triggers an additional time. So any of the triggered abilities of our zombies will double thanks to the Roaming Throne. Now normally I play my zombies as mono black and standard, but because of the Roaming Throne and now also the Cavern of Souls, I have to play Glissa Sunslayer in the zombie deck. Getting two Glissa triggers is just awesome, but it doesn't end there because in this deck, Roaming Throne also gives additional triggers on Champion of the Parish that now gets two 1-1 one -one counters if a zombie enters the battlefield, our goal of Throbin also triggers twice when another zombie we control dies, and Headless Rider leaves two zombie tokens behind when another non-token zombie dies with the Roaming Throne on the board. Also, for the spies at the top end of the deck, I'm playing a copy of Glissa Herald of Predation for a potential Incubate 2 twice or Incubate and Transform in the same turn. Now, I've also heard some besties have success with the Roaming Throne in Zombies in the Mirror to take advantage of exploit triggers and Necro Duality, but I'd have to try it out for myself and see if it's better than Golgari. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you want me to try a Demir version of the zombie deck. Alright besties, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and let's get into some gameplay. Wait, you know what? You know what? Bam! Oh, shit! Whoa! 61 special in the main? Yup, 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 yup. Alright, we're champ of the parish on one. Standard frame versus extended art. What do you mean? What do I prefer? Like, extended art stuff? I, I like- I like special art thingies. They make me feel special. Special art makes me feel special. All right, are we are we seeing some believers in the roaming throne? Going on sixty one cards also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The sixty one card special unmatched. You know, the only the elite of the elite recognize this incredible Magic the Gathering strategy. It's true. It's true. It takes very special uh, players to realize that that's broken. It's true, it's true. Roaming throne trigger <laughs> double tri double decay triggers, yeah. No, 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 that's not what we're looking for. Okay. Let's get this engine going. Like it would double Jadar. No, it doesn't double Jadar. Jar's a wizard. Would it, it double triggers Champ of the Perished? It double triggers Galissa, it double triggers Argul, it double triggers um, Headless Rider, which is probably the most important one of them all. Those double triggers are very valuable. Anyways, I would love a land. I'm playing 23 lands now, which is kind of cursed, but anyway, we'll see. Look at this Glissa art. Sheesh. Mother. Lens for the girls. Thank you. There it goes. Our gold trigger. Yup. Give me that. Give me that champ. What an interesting timeline we're in that we're playing zombies versus fairies. <laughs> How the fuck did we end up here? I don't know. But we are. Damn, they're not even attacking. They just wanted to discard. That's quite a bad sign. This could be some... Reanimator? No, it's like the Send Synergy? Someone actually playing Whale of the Forgotten? Wait, what the shit? 
That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's just like Golgari descent. I have no idea. It could literally just be like a Golgari descent deck, you guys. That's why they're playing. Uh oh, shit. Might be. Is that a go for throw? Fired off. Just like that. I I mean, I really do want that roaming throne. I don't have the mana right now, though, so I'm going to have to shove it in the grave. Are you going to chump? I feel like you could, but you're probably greedy, so you won't. So I'm going to put Chamber of Perish, and then I'm going to remove Kaito. Um, it does give us Glissa, so... Transform Incubator Focus, Incubate 2 twice, Transform all, Phyrexians are going to get First Strike and Death Touch. Well, we have no Phyrexians, but we could Incubate. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're chilling. Liliana. Minus. We might just have lethal here, like, if we're moving a token. Why are you playing big Glissa? Because we're playing roaming throne in this deck, and Glissa is a zombie. So instead of getting two incubate tokens, you could get four of them. Um, which is pretty spicy. It's just a one off at the top end. You know. So I don't hate it. It's not the greatest card on planet Earth or whatever, but. Cute synergy with the roaming throne. All right, we have it. You can also get two entrance room for free. Is that how it works? Okay. No, we are locked into the 61 card special. Like, it's honestly, it feels good. <laughs> it feels good for real, for real. All right, let's also get the record up on screen for the people that are uh, invested in the prediction. There it is. Record. It confu yeah, it confuses the shuffler to actually like give you cards that you need. It's true. It's the ultimate Magic the Gathering hack. For real, for real. It doesn't know how to handle it. It's like, what? 61? What? Yep. 61 and 23. And it's like, oh my god. I can't. Alright, address. I love finding cyber cards. It's true, it's true. Sixty-four with an extra land if you want to get real spicy. <laughs> right, right. Champ. Some decent duresses, at least there. This thing they'll still need to pay for it, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we fucking ball then. Here's Glissa. Queen. How did Glissa end up being a zombie? There's probably a lore reason for it. Or like a Phyrexian? I don't know. Was she always? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I looked this, this up at one point and I couldn't find an answer. Uh, what? Okay. Sure. We're wasting Halo Forgers. Mm 
The first mo mirrored inch was mono green. Oh shit. Phyrexian zombie elf. Yeah, it's a fucking cool mo and a half. Like. Right, so I could save Champ of the Parish now if I wanted to. <laughs> um. Honestly, why not? Come back to me, boy. Rats. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick a rat. Thank you. We scamming. A whole army of three power creature zombies. Let's go. What's not to love? What's not to enjoy? Oh, that's an edict. That's fine. <laughs> they gave up so quick. All right, that was a dominating performance. Golgari Zulmis just then. Got ourselves some razor lashes and a headless rider. I don't hate that. And a cavern. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Razor Lash it is. I feel like Razor Lash is pretty underrated nowadays. You fuck off, bat. Oh my god, guys, these bats. <laughs> oh, these bats, dude. Oh, okay. I'm getting like, these bats are like, they're getting on my nerves. Stupid fucking bat. Nah, it's true. Wait, they're like, for real? Like, on a real? They're getting on my nerves. What can we do? Like, there's... How can we fuck these bats up? What? Invasion of Tarkir? What the fuck are this, is this person cooking up? What? Dragons? With bats, of course. Dragons with bats? Kind of a sleigh. <laughs> kind of love that for them. It's gotta be. It's always a shoulder. I mean, I have a lot of removal in the deck. We should have a lot of removal in the deck. We have about um six pieces of removal. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Always Shelly on curve. Nah, it's true. I want to hold it. This not that after all, though. Don't want that. Do want the bitter triumph. Shelly on curve all the time, every time. <laughs> it's true. I'm gonna make a roaming. How does roaming throne? And uh, if it triggered ability of another creature. <laughs> roaming throne, choose Phyrexian. <laughs> Double my Shelly's. Fuck you. Oh my God, could you imagine? Is that how? Lord. Brothers, roaming Shelly's. <laughs> uh. Uh, less than three. you've had it done to you? Oh shit, L, L, what's up, 50 months? Hey, yo, thank you, L. That is my twin sister in the chat, Elisa Prey. From soft game, gamer, survivor, um, souls-like enjoyer. Give her a follow. We, we stand. Okay. Only reason they didn't kill you is you have your own Shellys out. Like, that's nuts. You've played against Throne Phyrexians, not fun. Nah, I can imagine. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, of course she is. She's a girl boss. We love her. Uh. Am I in trouble? Big fucking dragon on the way?
God, my life total. Am I going to Chicago? It, it is the plan, yeah. Dude, ugh, shit. One little bit of mana that I give him. I think I'm in the trenches. So close, man. <laughs> So close. I don't know. This is it. This is hit or miss. <laughs> it's crazy how we just fought like some fairies and now we're fighting dragons. Like zombies versus everything for real. Zombies versus the entire meta. That's where we're at. Okay. I think we scam him. <laughs> I think we scam him. Would a wicked roll token attached to it? Like. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Scams to our way to victory. Let's get it. A. Um. Honestly, it looks solid. Good creatures, good removal. But that, what's not to to like, you know? Zombie, champ. Might get cut down. No. No. Always such a relief when it's not like an immediate cut down. Like, yeah, I would like my creatures to live. Thank you. Fucking bat. Get the fuck out of here. Mean. All right, whatever. I'm going to get that thing back. Fuck you. It's such like... <laughs> it's such a strong tempo play, the bet. It's like, you know what? You had a two drop. You don't have it anymore. And remove me if you want it back. It's like, oh. Disrupts your curve, demands removal. It's like nuts. It's nuts. <laughs> it's true, it's true. That's the real worsty. One point, I mean, I do also like playing with the card, but man, does it feel bad. Oh, fuck you. All the removal. Me, me, me. Me, 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 me. I'm just gonna like bring that Dread Knight back infinitely, don't they? Whatever. Yeah, it's true. Hey, Shifted, thanks for the Prime. It's true. You know what? After all, why shouldn't I? before they um, bully me with the restless cottage. Why not remove their creature and bring two of my strongest creatures back? Like, that seems like a good play. Can swing in for a little bit of damage. Yep, you keep going with that. It's gonna backfire at one point, chief. Okay, I'm glad I did this before uh, the trenches. Ooh, is that a double champ? Now hold it. I do love to see it. Zombie. Slam it all, man. 
What a team. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to attack here because you get a new trigger on the champs. Imagine a roaming throne on this board. Like, oh, I hope to still deck it. Let us still deck this roaming throne, please. Go so hard. <laughs> roaming thrown off the top. Come on now. One time. One time for the one. It's a shame to pile on its reveal, but it's what it is. The, um, our goal would also come at a premium right now. Also be really good. Okay. Opponent holding up their removal. Uh, yeah, let's play Glissy before going to combat because we're going to buff up our champs. All right, I'll just swing in with ease. Seems like reasonable pressure. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll get rid of the Trespasser. Headless Rider exiled. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Damn. I think we're looking real good. Where are the non believers in the chat right now? I hope you guys are like shaking in your boots a little bit. <laughs> The non-believers, how's it feeling? Hold on a second. Oh well. It's keepable, I guess. They just like, outside of like vampires, they just made the archetype so flat as well. So sad. Like there's not really anything to werewolves outside of day and night, you know? I could add something cooler to that. Oh. What does this go? What are we doing over here? All right, I'm gonna save my boy. Heart Flame Duelist. Oh, wow. Heart Flame Duelist in a meta where we can get Lightning Helix too, by the way. Pretty fucking spicy, if you ask me. Really cool. All right. Oh shit, it's Inti. The Santa Skull of the Sun? Um, I might actually take that because the vigilance kind of irritates me. Uh, no, nah, we'll keep that on top. We'll try to make our way towards Glissa slowly but surely. Our anniversary, thank you. Put that on zombie. Remove Inti. Well, Heartflung Villains also suck. They all suck, really. I guess Duelist right now gives me a reasonable attack, so we'll do that first. The three one blocks a champ. I kind of don't like that. Bartholomew is a Chad. Nah, it's true. The Marty Vampire deck's awesome. I love that deck. So good. Oh, so good. I mean, would they really attack me with Inti? Yep, of course they are. 
Yeah, the Mardu deck is actually like also surprisingly strong with the dominating vampire. Like super, super nice. Big fan. I wonder, like, dominating vampire roaming throne? Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, man. I want to believe in the throne, but... A lot of removal. Okay. Is that going to save you? That might. <laughs> Easily a tier one deck. I mean, I wouldn't call it tier one. It, it feels like tier two somewhere, though. Um, I kind of want to guarantee myself a land. I'll wait here first. Probably hit NT with pile on, I think. It's a good deck, though. I really like the deck, too. I should probably put this in the chat for you guys. Uh, give me a second. Mm. Pile on NT. Jump him. Just get a land off the top somewhere. Let me put this in the chat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, no. Where is this? One Twitch. Alright, this thing's acting up. Irritating. Um, here we go. Is it impossible to paste something on mobile? Thank God. Here we go. Why take me forever? Here, in case you guys want to see my reaction to Carl of Manor, check that out over there. We're gonna do Phyrexian... No, it's only... <laughs> uh, beginning of Kumat on your turn. We're going to Incubate. I'm hoping... Oh, shit. Is that a Pia? Okay. That's not good news. At least we can get rid of it on a positive note. Playing against Pia, which is kind of what I thought, but. Yeah, Pia's gotta go. Pia and Inti together, though. Pfft, scary, especially with the virtue as well. Can I actually play that? Oh, man, they're drawing like gas. Oh, no. They're drawing gas. This is uh this is rough now. Fuck, that's painful. I gotta remove Pia. This game is gonna be over really quickly. Uh, I guess I gotta do this, because Glissa could still be blocked by, like, 2-2 and Hard Flame Duelists. I wouldn't like that. That don't do much for me. Talk about the video. Yeah, like, with Tessa, Tessa's awesome, too. So cool. Daddies. God, we're gonna just get absolutely blasted by Virtues now, huh? I don't think we're gonna get through this. <laughs> Fuck. And they have another land on the top there? Really? 
Dude, surely not. Oh, the fallen shield hair. God, this is painful as fuck. Ah! Nah, I'm not gonna get through this. Simple as that. I'm already dead, right? No. Like, we just got overwhelmed by three virtues. Insane. So that's quite a bit more than that. You could technically get more painted adversary ones too, I think. Zombie. Pretty sure you could. So it triggers on a lot of cards in the deck. <sighs> the smell of new cardboard. <laughs> it is nice. Okay, off to strong start, and we have a glistening deluge. Pretty, pretty important. Something's definitely gonna go here, I fear. It might actually be another virtue. You know what? Fuck you. I'm not having my stuff die. Not without my Argul. I think Untapped has been absolutely fucking miserable for the past couple of days. Like, nobody's been able to have their matches tracked. Like, it's horrible. I don't know. At this point, I've just, I'm just kind of like assuming that it doesn't work. <laughs> so it's really bad. They need to step it up. Yeah. An army of zombies. I don't want, I. I should say I won't let my stuff die twice, <laughs> a second time. A second time. Yeah, give me that Glusa. <laughs> Thank you. Khaleesi, but with zombies. <laughs> yeah, where are my zombies? Set of my dragons. Holy fuck, that's a Boonbringer Valkyrie. What the hell? Why do you need a Boonbringer? What the fuck does Bessie need a Boonbringer Valk for? What a waste of a hand. That hurts. Oh god, no. A one lander. It's also not going to work, Chief. Okay. Oh, I like the expansions. It's just that the expansions are really bad. <laughs> the cards from there are pretty bad. Outside of a few, like, cards that stand out, they they just, yeah, it was just MG's, you know, standard nerve, so... A lot of the cards are like super bad in power level, especially if you like compare them with what's coming out nowadays, for instance. All right, damn, we'll take that. Yeah, we're just upset they're underpowered because I love everything about like Innistrad. Innistrad's like, yup, eat it up every time. Big Innistrad fan. Um, So I, I feel robbed that they like decided to go like lower to power level with those sets. That's kind of it. I mean, I guess, like, what's the best thing to come from those, from those sets? Wedding announcement? <laughs> A card that creates humans. The best thing to come from it? I... I guess. Meat Hook? Yeah, but obviously, we can't even play with Meat Hook, so... Harvester? Yeah, Harvester's good. Harvester's good. Yeah, Harvester's all right. Adlin. Adlin, I guess Adlin's seen standard play. True, true. Trespasser seen standard play. Sure, sure. Yeah, reveal that. Give me that. Rider. 
they had like a few cards here and there like seeped in at one point in time but the more sets come out the more cards fade right so i guess it's great for trespasser blood tithe wedding adlin Still, I wish it had a greater impact. It's kind of like a Kamigawa. Justice. Still, justice. <laughs> we demand justice. Uh, I might actually just let that go through. Denik. I oh, had Denik is a good one from there too, huh? But Denik is only good because fucking... The thing is, Denik didn't see play for the longest time till Esper Legends got created, right? It's kind of the difference. Like, no, nobody played with Denik till Esper Legends became a deck, and then everybody was like, oh, wait, Denik's pretty good. And then Denik <laughs> kind of popped off. But before that, Denik didn't see play for like a year, year and a half or something. Soren hasn't done much. No, Soren hasn't done much. A cyber card at best. Oh, what the fuck? There it is. The Boonbringer. Ain't no way. Really gonna get wrecked by a Boonbringer Valkyrie? I mean, I guess so. Yeah. Shit. Okay, Glissa can take the counters off Inti, though. If I attack with the Restless Cottage and they block the Champion of the Paris, Parish, how much do I push? Nine. But they have to block the Champion of the Parish. Well, actually, no, because they get life gain. If they... If they block Glissa, we're technically at 14. If they block Glissa, I win, I think. If they block a 2 2, I push 15. Ah, I think they have to block Champion of the Parish. I don't think they have a choice. No, I'm just trying to figure out how do they block. At 14 life, I think they have to block Champ or they die. Go to Andrew Zombie. <laughs> you could, you could. That's also a line. I think you just win either way. But this is probably the opponent being like goofy. So I think this is the most foolproof plan because they'd look like that. <laughs> they'd look like that, so. It's brave. Yeah. It is. I mean, already have lethal, but not it matters.